Hi everybody, Ruben Packerhill from McGrath Estate Agents. As we enter into a period of further uncertainty with this global pandemic, we all have the opportunity to limit the spread of this virus and the impact on our economy. As a professional estate agent, I feel it my obligation to also keep my clients, customers, as well as community updated on the impacts of coronavirus through our local property market. Coronavirus, of course, arrived here in Australia in January, and up until a few days ago, it's had very little impact across the industry. In fact, over the last few weeks, we've been surprised to see the number of people doing online searches for property rise, only a slight decrease in the number of people physically coming through open homes, and of course, auction clearance rates in Brisbane have been well over 50%. As the number of confirmed cases in Australia rose and the uncertainty also continued to climb, we did start to see a more tangible impact on the transactional side of things. For those looking to secure finance, valuers started to come in with a more conservative approach and there were certainly less offers being tendered over the last couple of weekends of open homes. Of course, with Scott Morrison's uh, further lockdown measures announced last night, there will be more logistical impacts for everybody's lives, including those looking to buy or sell real estate. One of the announcements he made last night is that real estate is indeed an essential service. So it's important to remember for those that are also looking to rent or rent their properties out, the industry will remain open. There have, however, been some measures uh, imposed upon us and those, those will include no more public auctions and of course no more open homes. Truth be told, most uh, agents were looking to transition into that type of strategy anyhow over the last couple of weeks and certainly from now on all buyer viewings will be conducted via private uh, appointment as opposed to open homes. There's other measures that most businesses are looking to adopt including my own, working mainly from home as opposed to the office, uh, conducting most of our client meetings through FaceTime or Zoom. We're also rolling out 3D tours and virtual tours for all the properties we currently have for sale, just to try and limit that physical need to go through a, go through a home. We're also announcing an exciting initiative, uh, which will be called the Virtual Property Appraisal. So as you are at home or working from home over the coming weeks or months, if you did want to get an update on your property's current market worth, of course you can reach out at any time and we can organise a video conference where you can give me a tour of your home and I can provide you with an update on the property's worth and perhaps some, uh, some advice in regards to home improvements that you could look to undertake once of course we come out the other side. The most important priority for everybody at the moment should of course be health, uh, looking after your family and adhering to social distancing measures. Uh, the sooner we do this, of course, the sooner we can come out of this lockdown period. And I'd certainly anticipate that, to, if, if we all take it seriously, I'd certainly anticipate that to be not too far down the line. There is, of course, light at the end of the tunnel. Of course, the short-term impacts on the property market will be logistical in terms of demand sort of uh, decreasing. But certainly for sellers out there, you need to know that there are still plenty of people that are looking to purchase and take advantage of low interest rates. Of course, for those people that may look to sell later in the year, I would of course recommend that you consider these plans sooner rather than later, as there is no doubt that a rise in unemployment will have a direct impact on property prices over the next 12 months. What we do of course know is that those that purchase through times like this often have a, a pretty quick and uh, equivalent upswing within 12 or 18 months. I've got plenty of people that bought through the GFC and saw positive gains within sort of 12 to 18 months. We will of course look to keep you updated with the, the physical impacts on our property market over coming weeks and we aim to do this through a series of videos which we'll bring to you uh, through Facebook and of course Instagram. If you have any more specific questions feel free to leave some comments below and we'll aim to answer those in our next video but of course for now keep safe, keep distant and I look forward to speaking with you soon.